Okay, folks, you know where I'm at. And basically, I'm going to take you to this here. This, and this is Georgia because basically I went and put the coordinates in, and this is going to blow your flipping mind. That's what you're going to flip and see, okay, ladies and gentlemen? We have some shit in space that they don't want you to flip and know about, all right? Now, this is the Georgia station because basically I'm going to minus out of this for one second and bring you back to what we end up seeing, this meteor, NIST asteroid, whatever the hell you want to call it, and this is going to be the other objects as we come back up through, but they're not really even, even dramatic. Now, this is this that we still have there, too, and I'll plug that in in a second and get it on the end of the video, okay? And then we have this object that came around, too. But let's go to the orbital on the shot that I showed you on the bottom, okay? So I went ahead and cut and did the longitude latitude, and it's in Georgia, and it's only 0.323 aw you out, okay, as far as the object that goes flying across the sky. Now, the lights that you see are way the flip out. Now, let me go. And there's a song, folks. God is great. Beer is great. Everybody's flipping crazy, and Beano's not. So here we go. And there we're going to give you the action, and this is everything about the area. And we'll even tell you what planes were flying over. But we're going to tell you right now, ladies and gentlemen, there ain't none of the goddamn planes that were flying over. This wasn't an American Airlines, and it wasn't Delta Airlines. And the only thing that's supposed to be in the flipping sky is Jupiter, okay? And then the other factual factual is even if that's not Mars, and that's not Mercury, and it's not Saturn and not the sun because it's in the nighttime sky and now we go to the actual deal and this is what we're looking at folks now let's hit play and you'll see your objects come by that's basically that that point zero three two three iu and that was it okay but you can't miss this here and yes we are in the fall solstice and this might be a, dr a draconious wild beautiful compilation collection okay because that might be at actually ready to fire off okay so everybody might be missing a beautiful oh, hopefully they won't because really not because I'm showing you what we got now and this is from NASA and we want to thank everybody in the US military every flipping branch because that's how you get all this information and that's where it is and basically that box is up there a little hockey puck going through space up there at 0.323 IU so that's only a a third of the distance from here to the flipping sun okay and this object is going to come back by here in a second and there you go and i'm going to take a drink of beer because i just caught a big old fly in a nest because you can't miss this and what the hell is somebody going to tell me that that is and basically i'm believing that this should be draconius okay and it should be out in front of more than likely a lot of the massive objects in space that are up in Herculobus and so forth and so on. And I, if you found I'm wrong on that, doesn't matter. I've been showing you the meatball and everything like that in the earlier videos, okay? This is wild. This is not the sun, okay? Because at that UTC, the sun was not up in Georgia, ladies and gentlemen, at 9.36 UTC time, okay? Because at 9.36 UTC time, they're eight hours ahead of us, okay? So it's only like 1.36 in the morning, UT, 1.36 Eastern Standard Time in Georgia, okay? And this is what was in your sky. And Fireball caught that, and you got this triangulation there, there. You got this little triangulation there, and this bigger triangulation here. And I'm not even gonna say Nibiru in my, ladies and gentlemen, but there's some shit out there, folks. Okay, and it's way the hell out, and everything's safe as hell. It'd be nice if NASA and Fireball could come out tomorrow and tell us this is a beautiful image that we got, boom, 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 and tell us how far, because this should be Draconius. This should be more than likely the fall solstice of the Draconius is very rare to see, okay? And we got a wild grouping that we're coming around in stereo play to be able to see this, okay? Because that actually factually exists. And then we're going to go ahead and plop back out of here and go back into Fireball. Okay, and that's a, at 9.36 UTC time, the sun's way to flip over here in the east and over here east coast in Georgia, somewhere over here, the sun's not up yet, okay? It's just coming around the horizon over in Europe, okay? Let me see if I can scoot up through this real fast. And that's what GMT time, that was the sky chart, okay? So basically, more than likely, this is from over in Greenwich, 
okay? This is what should be up over in Greenwich, not up in the Georgia sky at 1.36 in the morning, okay? So basically, fireball caught Dratonius really good, it looks like to me, because basically they have it with these other orbitals there, I'm not even worrying about the distance on them right now. Maybe we'll be able to finish it in the video. But I'm going to try to load this up because basically this is the same thing, which it should more than likely be Draconius coming up. Okay? So we're loading that, and we'll let that load. And I'm going to go back and get the... Because uh, that's the data on here on what we actually just showed you that came by. Okay? Now we're going to go ahead and we'll pop the orbital on this and see what we got for data on this. Now this is... 3.306 IU at this other object, okay? So that's way the hell out there. So now I'm going to go back in and we'll scroll up and we'll go ahead and get this orbital in here. And that's basically what we got is so far tonight is that much. But look, see how close that one was. That, this here is hella close. This here is way the hell under. This is like, this here is basically something to do with the large. We actually might have caught one of them if I was to be at spaceweather.com right now or RSOE. This is one of those one point something or whatever. And now I screwed up because more than likely that's going to load. So we'll let this load and then I'll go back to the other lower one. Okay. Actually, I'm right back in. This loaded really fast. And then here we'll get the object. When I hit play, we should get the play. Well, it's got to load. It's got to load up. But this is what happened. This was, it was in the sky at like... Oh, hell, this is midnight there, so eight hours earlier, so take six. This is like four o'clock. This should be like four o'clock. This should be the sun going down. In the, and 48, all you got to do is 48 minutes GMT and figure that out, okay? So that's what came by in the sky real low, because, I mean, that's, that's pretty damn shallow, folks. That 0 0.073 IU. So the Dacronius has really given us a hell of a play tonight. Okay, so now let's go back, or now, that's what i got to pay attention to new. Now, let me make sure that we are totally correct on what I'm giving you for dates and time now. Hang on one second. We're going back here at Asgard, and this is what was happening, yes, tonight the 6th, okay? So that was early GMT there, and now we'll load up this, because this is going to be previous to what we absolutely are wild getting a shot of here. So see what they did is they zoomed in hell on this shot here, okay? And you get that. So basically, they caught the Draconius big time. And I'm going to pull this one because this is about the best looking one out of the two shots. And there you go. It loaded pretty damn fast, and we're going to hit play. And that's pretty much the dragon right there, ladies and gentlemen. That's the Draconius uh, Fall Solstice right there. Okay? So a wild group has been caught. Asgard, Fireball, you have hit it big time. This is awesome. This is some great footage. And I guess we'll go ahead and look at the footage of how far that object was out again real fast here. And that's not it, because that was our previous object. We'll go back to here to this, and then we're going to go ahead and hit the orbital here. And then we'll give you, that was that far out, folks. That's a long ways away. That's almost two point, two and a quarter times, almost two, to, two and an eighth times the distance of the sun away from us, okay? But that object was, not the Draconius. Draconius is actually way farther back out, okay? That's pretty much what it's got to be. This is pretty much what it's got to be is the Draconius asteroid belt coming around. The Draconius comet asteroid. And it loaded real fast. And here you go. And you're going to end up getting your object through this here. Actually, it's loaded. It's buffeting complete. It's not yet. So the idea that actual factual that you're going to end up looking at 923 and again you take eight hours off i'm pretty sure what it is so that's at 12338 utc time now what i showed you with that should have been what was up in the sky in over in greenwich okay as this was playing through here we should have only really seen in the sky at that time and matter of fact let's go ahead and now what we're going to do is i'll let this finish out i'll just hit play and let it pop out and there that pops out and then we'll pop out of this and what we're going to do is we're going to go back to asgard and then we'll roll up and we'll see what they're showing us because they have they should have the plot i'm going to go to live view and we'll see what we got on live view and that's what you got on live view on every all the shots so it happened really early and it was caught by asgard and you've got it now 
and we'll give you the map here and that's what you've got in the sky and as you can see we don't have any they're not showing you Saturn this that or nothing in there okay there's nothing there folks because basically what we should have there at that longitude and time is what I'm showing you here and barely what you should have ever even had over the side would have been Jupiter coming up in the east okay in your east sky folks that's right that means that's coming up ahead of what's in the sky over in Greenwich, Greenwich okay that means Jupiter was coming up and actually this stuff is all in the west sky so the idea that you know and this is from Greenwich so the idea you know absolutely what you, everything you've got from Georgia from this location load back up and we'll take you all the way up to the information and I'd like to say everybody get on there and say that that's a Delta Airlines and an American Airlines flight and those actually ones in 55 miles north and 32 miles southeast okay that's not a Boeing 737 and it's not a McDonald's McDonald Douglas MD 90 okay that's exactly not what that that flip is okay so that's all your information on that of what that came up and fireball you got shit on we love you and JPL and all branches of the military this is awesome shit so they caught draconius big time you don't really see it on live view when you go there now but you go to 2006 and you see what we got in for the object so far and they caught it early okay and that stuff's all there and ladies and gentlemen that there is there and I'll even blow that up on that shot there we'll zoom that up to like 400 see what we get I don't think I'm gonna be able to see it at 400 yeah we'll be screwed up on that because I don't think I can adjust that hang on I don't think I have a leveler for that no I can maybe drag that up so there there that's what you got there and I think we can go all the way down with it keep going to it I'll keep dragging down and see if we get to it I got to drag the dragger with me and there where we first see it start showing up and you get a really beautiful view of draconius it should be and it does look like a dragon. It almost looks like a scorpion to me, as far as I'm concerned. So here we go. We should be able to get down to the bottom to what we saw on the real big blow up. And there you go. And you can even see it. That's what it is. It's Dragonius. It's the Dragonius. Should be it. It's the Dracoid. And that's a wild flipping shot there, zoomed in that object coming by real close to earth because this was real close 0.073 all you away and all this other stuff out there and like I said before there's a triangulation here bing bing and bing and there's a triangulation here bing bing and bing pretty wild huh folks and this is what it should be folks and basically they've caught it early and it might be beautiful to watch it the next couple nights okay because it's just the sixth tonight we caught the draconoid draconid meteor shower peaks this year on the night of october 7th and 8th well let me tell you something that's pretty peaky tonight on the sixth okay so the only other shit that it can be and it's not our cme and watch my other videos and you see that shit and there's your midnight northern ireland rainbow wild stuff that's going on around in space and everything right now and in your actual earth atmosphere folks the Irish are beautiful and they do love gold and we all do and no well go for the gold ladies and gentlemen in the middle of the night rainbow okay and then we'll get down here to our objects the only other thing that can't be unless it's drop draconoid it's these huge objects that I told you is coming around and then we we'll go and get some earthquake action in here here we go folks put it on big full screen and let's scroll down through all the data see what we got going on in the graphs So it looks like it's somewhat calm all right so that means we're gonna peek up on something here in a little bit because we can't just do all what we did do and then get to this calmness now and in a second I'll throw on life earthquake viewer and we'll see what's going on in the latest quake so hang on a minute and we'll keep scrolling through here but everything looks pretty calm a little bit of action romantic islands and whatever you've seen through here there was a little bit of action on a little bit of everything but just a little bit and that's over in Russia they got a lot of radioactivity over there though remember that okay so now let's get this 
That's America, and let's go ahead and go to there. Remember, the graphs are a lot of times behind because there we got a 5.6 over there. And it looks like way south of Japan. 